In Creo Parametric, you have analysis tools that help you figure out how much you can thicken a part. Here I have a model that consists of surfaces. I want this to be solid geometry. So I'm going to use the right mouse button to select the entire quilt. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose the thicken command. And right now, it's trying to thicken to the outside a value of 4 and some change. But there's no preview indicating that there's some kind of issue. So maybe you'll try just changing these numbers. Hey, maybe make this a little lower. Nope, still can't thicken it. Let me change this over here. Nope, still can't thicken it. I don't know, maybe let me try going to the inside. Okay, it allows me to thicken to the inside that amount. And that, by the way, is kind of a weird situation. Usually, I find that you can thicken to the outside of your surfaces a lot more than you can thicken to the inside of your surfaces. But again, right now, I'm just doing a little trial and error, plugging in different numbers in order to figure out how much I can thicken this part based on the current geometry. Let's take a look at some of the analysis tools that you have for figuring out the same information. I'm going to go to the analysis tab and then from the inspect geometry overflow menu, the offset analysis and radius commands allow us to figure out how much we can thicken apart. Let's start out with the radius command. And here is the radius analysis dialog box. Here we have an area where we can select the geometry that we want to measure. And you can calculate the minimum inside radius and minimum outside radius or both of them. I'm going to do both of them. And so for selecting the geometry, I'm going to again tap the right mouse button in order to query select the entire quilt. And then when I pick it, inside of here it shows me that the minimum inside radius is minus 6 and a little change. And the minimum outside radius is 1.8 almost 1.87. So that's how much I can thicken it to the inside or the outside. And in this dialog box, you can do this as a quick analysis. In other words, it's just giving me the values here on the screen. You can also do it as a saved analysis. If you do a saved analysis, you can have what's called persistent display. In other words, these values will be reported on the screen while I'm working. And so that way I can see updates to these values as I'm making changes to my geometry. The third choice from this drop down list is to create this as a feature. And then if I go to the feature tab, let me make this dialog box a little wider and make this column a little wider. Here are some parameters that you can generate inside of the feature. You can change the names if you want to. And once you have these different parameters, you can incorporate them into user-defined analyses, or feasibility and optimization studies if you have a license of the behavioral, model, behavioral modeling extension. All right, let me go back to the analysis tab. I'm just going to do this as a quick analysis. I'm not going to have that persistent display. One other control over here is that there is a slider that you can use to crank up the size of these arrows that point your attention to where you have the values of the minimum inside radius and maximum outside radius. And so that's another good feature of this tool. It shows you where you would need to make changes to your features in order to have a larger value for thickening the part. So that's good. That's the radius value. That tells us how much we can thicken to the inside or the outside right now. I'm going to cancel out of here. The other command that you can use is the offset analysis command. And this offset analysis command is a lot like the thicken command and also the offset command that generates surfaces in your model. This command will show us a mesh on the computer screen based on how much we're trying to thicken the part. So here we have our geometry collector. Once again, I'm going to tap the right mouse button so I can get to the entire quilt. And right now it's using an offset value of zero. Let's crank this up. I'm first gonna do a very small number. And so right now it is offsetting a value of one, which is really hard to see. It looks like it's offsetting to the outside. And you can plug in these different values over here. 
in order to see uh, what the thickened or offset surface would look like. What I t prefer to do is change this to a very big value. Before I do that, I just want to point out that you do have the ability to specify a plane as a reference for thickening as opposed to thickening normal to every point on the surface, or rather offsetting every point on the surface. Let's go over here and crank this up. Again, I find using a really big value helps you identify easily where you're having geometry intersect itself or collapse in on itself and again we knew that the minimum value was around over here and you can see yeah our, our offset mesh is having problems it's intersecting itself it's overlapping itself and this is a good way of again seeing not just the place where you have the minimum inside or outside radius but it shows you other areas that will give you problems if you are trying to thicken to a specified value. Some of the other different things that you have in here for the mesh, instead of controlling the number of contours, you can control the spacing. I prefer number, that's easier. The other thing I like to do is crank up the number of lines because again, that helps you identify easily where you're having different problems. So let's crank both of those up. You can also increase the quality levels in the first and the second directions. You can control when this updates. And with this one, you can only do this as a quick analysis or a saved analysis. And so there I can see where I'm having problems if I was trying to thicken the part to the outside. But most of the time, you're actually probably thickening to the inside. And so to change this to the inside, you can drag the value. You can also change the number in here to a negative value or double click on the screen and change it to a negative value. So again, I will do negative 10. And I remember from the offset analysis that this was showing us where we were having the minimum value. And again, if I wanted to offset to a value of 10 to the inside, looks like I'd also have some problems around over here where we have the sort of fillet geometry right in here. Uh, taking a look, everything else actually looks kind of okay. Might have some issues over there, but now I know where I would need to make geometry changes if I wanted to thicken to that particular value. I'm happy with the information that I got from here, so let's cancel out of here. And I'm fine with thickening to a value of 5 to the inside. Let's go to the Model tab. Once again, I will tap the right mouse button to select the quilt. This time, I'll use the Thicken command from the ribbon. And again, it's trying to do that value of 4 to the outside. Let's change this to our desired value of 5. And then I can use the flip button to change it to the inside. Be aware that you also have a flip button that you can use on the dashboard. But flip it to the inside. Let's try a different value. Sometimes it's having issues with the preview. There we go. We're happy with that. And sometimes you're having trouble with the attach preview. You might want to go to the uh, preview verify mode, but this is good. Let's hit the check mark. And that way we have thickened our part to a big value. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.